What's up everybody? Today I'm gonna take a little trip out of my wheelhouse and add to my repertoire uh, another topic that I'll pretend I know something about. Uh, when I was younger I used to be a model railroader and actually thoroughly enjoyed it and lately I've been thinking about getting back into it. Well with the holidays around the corner I thought I'd start with a uh, uh, Christmas train set and so today we're going to take a look at the Hornby Coca-Cola Christmas train set. Now looking at the front of the box here, you can see that it comes with an oval of track. Here are, the, here are the train cars and locomotive that are inside, as well as the track and the, uh, the controller. Looking at the back of the package, uh, we get a picture of the the whole train and you can see over here that it says for adult collectors however in my opinion this uh, set is perfectly suitable for uh, children as well smaller children should have adult supervision uh, this one I found it on Amazon for a uh, uh, hundred dollars because uh, the train hobby is not a cheap hobby uh, as I said, this train is from Hornby. Hornby is actually a a uh, European or British model railroad company. Uh, so it actually surprised me that I was able to find one that I could get here. I had no idea that Hornby was available here. So let's go ahead and crack this thing open, take a look at the insides. So here are the contents of the box. You get a standard uh, Hornby train controller. After all, this is an electric set. Uh, good news is, when you order one here, it does come with a uh, an adapter for uh, American walls. You get two pieces of straight track, one of which is your is your plug for the power, and then you get pieces of what I think to be third radius curve to make your oval and third radius curve is actually pretty good because it allows you to put larger trains on without having to worry about them derailing. Now it should be noted I, I have already had this opened up it does come packaged better with you know rubber bands around the track etc. So let's go ahead and take a look at other things you get. Uh, this is a, I'm going to, I'm guessing it's called a re-railer. I honestly don't know because back when I did this, we didn't have these, or at least I never did, but you basically, you need a, you need a straight piece of track to set it down in. You set it down like that and you can just roll your, your cars right on. Now we're going to take a look at the rolling stock. For starters, you get a container car. The containers are removable. They uh, connect to the connect to the car on these pegs. Each individual container does have doors that can open on it, so you can put you know little bottles of Coca Cola or whatever. I think I'll be filling it with candy because I like candy. The actual car itself doesn't contain any real detail. Go ahead and take those off. It's just a basic flatbed with uh, plastic wheels on it. You also get a small box car. The box car has the classic Coca-Cola Santa printed on the side as well as a Coca-Cola logo. Uh, it's got plastic wheels as well. However, the wheels on these, I'm sorry, the axles are metal. And it's got decent detail. And then your loco, you get a uh, or, an 040 diesel shunter. 
Uh, for anybody that doesn't know, 040, there's usually like three separate, three or four separate sections of wheels. So you have 0, 4, 0. Uh, this shunter is red in Coca-Cola livery. The uh, handrails are molded on, but it's pretty standard, pretty, pretty basic. Uh, it does have windows. Uh, no, no cab interior. A painted grill, uh, silver headlights. The uh, buffers are not sprung. But it's just a basic 040 loco. Now, I don't pretend to know too much about this. There are other channels out there uh, that can tell you a lot more about this. There's one in particular that did a very good review of this. So if you get a chance, go out and check out Sam's Trains and just just search for the uh, coca-cola christmas train set he did a much better review than i could ever do with this anyway uh, i'm gonna take it over to the table and set up the track and we'll put it on the track see how it runs in the meantime i'll give you a closer look at the uh the cars And here we are with the track all set up and the train, the loco and train cars placed on the track. I also dug out the, uh, the little package of instructions and whatnot that came with it. So real quick, we're going to take a look at that. And I'm going to give you a quick measurement of the, of the track, because if you look at the box, it says that it's uh, 1100 millimeters by 1070 millimeters. And I'm going to give you what that is in approximated in inches. All right, so if we take a tape measure to the track, it measures approximately 39 inches by, I'm going to say about four feet. So you're going to need a decent sized space for this. Okay, so if I open up this pack, inside there are various things. We have a Building Your World pamphlet, which gives you an idea of ways to extend your track. So you, you can rest assured I'll be looking into these track extension packs, as well as other Hornby accessories. You also get an owner's manual for maintenance and operating of the track and, and everything else. A couple of warranty cards. Instructions for your 040 locomotive that shows a complete breakdown of it where to lubricate it and maintain it, etc. And instructions for your train controller and how to hook it up and whatnot.
Hooking up your train controller is real simple. You push down on these and run the lead from the controller into it. Uh, which way that is facing determines which direction the, uh, the train moves in when you change direction on here. And then you just plug power into it. And when you apply power, a light lights up and the train will start moving. So we have our train on the track. Now, I do not know what these this type of coupling is called. It obviously is not like a real life train coupling, but I actually like the way these couplings work because it's really easy to couple with a car without having to do anything with your hands. It just couples right up and then you can send the train on its way. Now, long term, you probably are gonna to wanna to get yourself a better controller, but the one that comes with the set is not horrible. I mean, you are able to regulate the speed of the train and get it to just crawl, or I should say just move slowly like a shunter should. and that works in both directions. Though you do need to turn the power all the way off to change direction on the controller. For people who aren't familiar with the hobby, placing the train on the track is real simple. You can see how the uh, wheels have like inner inner walls on them you just place those on the inside of the track and if it moves smoothly you know it's on right so let's couple our train back together and send it around the track a few times Now with the controller, you can absolutely regulate the speed from a very slow moving train. And as you slowly increase the speed, the train gets faster, obviously. Now the motor on this train is tooled to be a little bit on the slower side because this is a shunter and shunters work in the rail yards simply. Uh, moving cars around for the bigger trains to take. So we're going to run it around the track a little bit. And a um, little interesting note, when you get a brand new engine like this, it's a good idea to run it for, you know, 20 to 30 minutes, just kind of break in the motor a little bit. But let's go ahead and run this around the track a few times and wrap this one up. Now this train is in double O gauge, which itself is slightly larger than HO scale, which I like since, you know, my Hot Wheels and all that typically run 164th and HO scale is 187th. So with double O gauge, I can get a little bit closer. But double uh, O gauge runs on HO scale track. So down the line, if I want to get an HO scale train, I can. Now, as you can see here, I got two tables that are different colors. There's a slight, about a half inch height difference between the two of them. And that's something I will fix as, uh, as I build up my layout and do, do some modeling, etc. As time goes on, I will be adding track to my layout because a, a plain basic oval is just no fun. I want to have some sidings, uh, maybe some other radius tracks, some other engines, some other cars. I want to be able to have fun, you know, just toying around doing some shunting. So 
So that's a look at the Hornby Coca-Cola Christmas train set. I'm returning to an old hobby of mine, and I hope you'd be willing to join, join me as we progress through the hobby and see what I can do with my overall layout out here. And it is going to be a mix of you know, real life looking places with the Hot Wheels and Matchbox play sets. But that's it for now. Uh, again, if you search for this, this train set on YouTube, there are channels that could do a way better review than I ever could. Please check them out. I personally like Sam's trains. He just gives like a in-depth analysis of locomotives and train sets, etc. But that's it for today. I want to thank you all for watching. Please hit that subscribe button. Remember to play with your kids. And I'll see you next time.